communication Let's focus on communication Cause I just need the time and place to come through What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another collaboration with one of my favorite wig vendors here, Vivi. And today I'm going to be reviewing this beautiful layered unit that is actually giving me fresh relaxer vibes. Now dolls, take a look at this lace. This lace is an invisible HD lace. As you can see, it literally melts into my skin. And before I get started, I wanted to just show you guys the part and space that's available on this unit. And this is a glueless unit. As you can see, I just have it on right now with just the elastic band and I'm shaking it just to show you that it will stay on. But I'm sure by the end of this video, someone's gonna comment, hey, I thought you said this was a glueless unit. In any event, I just want you guys to look at how invisible this lace is and how it literally just melts in with my skin. It is giving me scalpy Yana. Like, this looks like a fresh relaxer on my head. So today I decided to glue this unit down. Now you guys know I don't do too many glued installs. For one, I hate sleeping with my wig on my head. And two, it's really time consuming and it's actually kind of challenging for me. It's one of the installs that I haven't yet mastered. So I like to keep trying at it until I perfected it. I guess it's just a Leo in me. I'm gonna show you how I'm laying this unit and I'm going to do it using the bow hold active and I'm gonna apply four coats. Now this video is gonna make it seem like it was easy peasy, but it was anything but that. Guys, I literally took hours to install this unit because I kept doing it over because the glue kept showing white underneath the lace. Now I could just let you guys look at this video and assume it was good on the first try, but that's simply not the case. And I just wanted to let you guys know that even though I literally install units every week consistently, I still have challenges as well. So when it's your turn to actually work on installing your unit, it's understandable if you get frustrated when it doesn't turn out the way you want, but just know that practice makes perfect and everybody has their days where the wig or the glue just don't wanna behave. Now I did see somebody, I cannot remember who, um, on YouTube say that if you use the got to be glue spray on top of the white spots, it'll make it disappear Now I can confirm that that didn't work for me dolls in any event I finally got this unit to act right or at least it was just gonna have to be what it was gonna be for today And now I just went and proceeded to cut the lace off and dolls as you guys can see this lace is almost invisible and the downside about this is that it is very thin so you have to exercise care when manipulating this lace or it will tear easily this is the new swiss lace from hair vivi and one thing i do like about this hair texture is that it's not the typical yakky or kinky straight but it still has a natural look now I'm gonna try out this new baby hair tamer. It kind of looks like mascara, and I'm not really sure how I feel about this. I'm gonna have to use it a couple more times before I can give it a final thumbs up. It did lay the baby hairs down, but it was a little different from the wax sticks that I'm used to. And then I went over the unit, as always, with my flat iron, just to give it a really nice, sleek look. Okay. 
So for this first install, I decided to be adventurous and keep the middle part only because this unit came with layers. So I'm just going to take my curling iron and curl the hair towards the back. Since it's layered, it's it should frame my face pretty nicely and make the middle part pretty manageable. Now I will say this hair VV hair, guys, I keep telling you, hair VV hair curls so beautifully and easily. I literally curl this hair in less than 10 minutes. I don't have to keep the curling iron on it long. It takes to the curl perfectly. This brand is one of my favorite when it comes to curling units. And dolls, everything used in this video will be linked in the description box down below. I did decide to add some of my Fit Me powder to the part. Undecided on whether or not I preferred it with or without it. And I added just a little bit of baby hairs. This is what the first style hairstyle is looking like. This unit is in 16 inches and I just want to give you guys a look at the back. I think this is pretty long and it's a pretty good um, length. It's not a length that I'm used to, but I think it's a pretty good length for 16 inches. This is supposed to be 200% density. I'm really not too sure about that. It didn't appear to be that thick. So next I decided to wash the unit and just kind of start over because I was over the middle part after a few days and I do prefer the unit after it's been washed. Now I will say that I did, I did get some tangling when I was combing through the unit. Nothing major but I actually didn't get almost any shedding. I did decide to curl this unit off my head on the mannequin to make it a lot easier and I added some of my gloss to it just to give it a bit of a shine and this is how these curls turned out. As I mentioned I really love how this unit curls. It looked a lot fuller as it was curled and I'm actually considering cutting it. I think this will look cute if I cut about two to three inches off. What do you guys think? Do you prefer it long or do you think I should cut it short? Let me know your opinion in the comment section down below. And if you're interested in purchasing this unit, I do have a coupon code for you guys as always. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. And always important, until next time, you guys stay blessed and I'll see you in my next video. Take care now.